How you guys doing today? This is Master Mark Kinnar here. I'm at my Bridgeport location right now. And uh, I just want to tell you guys that I have uh, all of the blocking and punching set done for our curriculum, along with all of our kicking sets. And uh, I had the students earlier, a couple of years ago, do all the forms, all the Taiguk forms, uh, part of the Kicho. Excuse me. Part of the Kicho forms, the first two Kicho. And then they did all the Taiguks, and then I redid some of them, too. So you can get on there and check it out. We also have all the breaking up to Red Belt with Black Stripe. So if you guys want to go home and train at home, you can check out our curriculum. I have everything titled in my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is Mark Kennar. You can check it out if you want to. Even if you're not one of my students, you can kind of uh, see what's going on. And that's very, very important. I always have the I, I'm putting them up there for free, man. That's just it. And I just want you guys to know that I always have the philosophy that the more you give, the more you get. Because I always believe that the higher power or God looks down at people that are really trying. And uh, when you are always giving, he gives you more responsibilities and you just grow. and You become a better person in the long run. This is very, very important in life. So I just want to talk to you guys real fast about the idea of how to be successful. What type of mindset you have to have. Now, when I was younger, I hated to lose. Man, did I hate to lose. And you know what I do? My motivation was to train really hard and get really good so I wouldn't fail. And you want to know something? That was a great mindset to have, to be very, very tough. But I found that there's even one a little bit better. And that is to have the mindset of seeing how everything you do pushes you to be successful. All right? Failure is not something that makes you lose. Failure helps you to get closer to be, being successful. The more you fail at something and you sit down and you analyze it, and that's one of the big parts you have to do in life. Like that's one of the things is I'm very, very brutal with myself. Some of my friends talked to me and they said, well, why did that happen to you? And a lot of people would make up excuses. I think excuses are, are, uh, are really good lies for losers. You know, I just always try to say, w what did I do to cause me to be put in that situation? And when I realize that I, I think of a game plan of not to do that again, but I also think about how that experience pushes me closer to be successful. And that's really a long-term idea or mentality. Um, when you think about not losing or you think about not failing, it's a short-term thing. You know that something's going to happen very short-term. But when you think about being successful, that's a that's a five to 10-year long goal. And you have to have a lot of indomitable spirit and a lot of perseverance to accomplish that. And in my opinion, the only real failure is when you completely give up and you don't try anymore. That's the ultimate failure. And you don't want to do that. You know, if you fail at something, think about how it's going to help you become closer to being successful. You know, like when you train in your martial arts, when you first start trying to do roundhouse kick or front kick or side kick or even your punches. Or if you do jujitsu, maybe you weren't good at the throw. Maybe you couldn't do arm bar. I remember I had a horrible time trying to do triangle choke. Uh, Uchimata was one of the throws that I had a hard time with. But I, I had a high interest level in learning it and I became good at it. And I remember all the failures I had or I couldn't hit that throw or I couldn't hit that punch. Or I couldn't hit that kick. I couldn't catch him in that arm bar. And there's still people I can't because they're better than me, you know. Um, but those failures made me have a drive to say, hey, I failed, but you want to know something that's not over. Yeah, I have to have the mentality of being successful. And that's it. That mentality in your mind of being successful has a lot to do with your attitude and if you think long term and you think about how all your failures lead to your success, you'll have a better mindset overall and you'll accomplish a lot more and you'll have stronger perseverance, stronger indomitable spirit and just a stronger heart in general. So think about that. Think about having the mindset of being successful. Like how are you going to become successful? And think about your failures in a positive light, not a negative light. And uh, that's my master's message for today and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.